Our state is one of the most beautiful and unique states in the USA. We want to show you why traveling within the great state of Oklahoma is a great idea. This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. From Robbers Cave State Park, the crew heads southeast toward Tallahena. Our first outing of the day will be the beautiful Talamina National Scenic Byway. We are on the west side of the Talamina Drive and we're about to go up the winding stair. And the fall foliage is here. What do you think? Beautiful. Oh man. So this kind of makes you feel like if you were a bird, this is this would be the place to just soar. <laughs> this is so amazing. This is like one of the coolest parts of Oklahoma that I've been to. Mountains. Mountains for days. We are hiking off Talamina Drive. The trees, the trails, the geography is absolutely beautiful here. Pretty awesome. If you like to hike, there are hundreds of miles of trails all throughout Talamina Drive here in Oklahoma. We are right on the fringe of Sunset Point. So if you like to hike, this is Oklahoma. After enjoying a scenic drive through the mountains, our crew made their way back to Talahina. Our next stop, Brown Bear Cabin. So this amazing cabin is yours. Right, my wife and I, Martha and I, built this cabin about five or six years ago. We built it uh, with people in mind coming and going to Talamina Drive and to see the, you know, the beauty of the scenery around here. A lot of our uh, people in Oklahoma don't really realize the uh, scenery and what is here in the southeastern part of the state. Yeah, it's one of the most uh, scenic places you can go between the Great Smokies and the Colorado Rockies, really. In the evenings, it's quiet. Lots of times, nobody even comes by. So uh, right. it's a good place to come and just to retreat and uh, to listen to the sounds of the woods and the hills. Yeah, I was going to ask, are there any brown bears looking Not around? any brown bears. <laughs> now, the idea for the brown bear came from a painting my wife uh, bought before we even turned to uh, uh, any dirt in building this cabin that she used as the centerpiece to, yeah. to decorate from here and to think from. So Very cool. My wife decorated all the stuff in here. All the uh, larger wooden features in here, are, it's all native wood to our part of the state, so that's, uh, that's kind of cool. But uh, full kitchen, it's a 2,700 square foot home. Uh, three bedroom, two bath, a uh, large loft area that has a pool table and then a big hot tub and fire pit. And so it's just two hours from Salsa and maybe right under three hours to Oklahoma City or right at three. So it's doable. So how do you how do you rent this place? Uh, we have a website, browdenbearcabin.com. Uh, you can go on there and our contact information is there. And then we just try to find an open date for people. It is nice. It is a beautiful part of the world and a beautiful place to spend some time. After exploring the beautiful Brown Bear Cabin, the gang heads north on Highway 271 to our final stop of the day, dinner at the Rock House. So let's just start, I want to get a little bit of the history. Tell me, how did this place become a reality and when? This was something we talked about for 30 years. So for 30 years we would go and, and take notes and say, well, if we get to do a restaurant, you know, let's make sure we do this or don't do that. We try to put all that together and this is what we came to be. Ultimately, we wanted to provide a, a place for people to spend time together. We just want to provide a place where they're not in a hurry. You book a table, it's yours for two hours. It's just going to be a relaxed atmosphere. Well, we came from back east after the boys came home from Iraq. It was our attempt to be able to keep the family all together. Okay. And so we moved from Pennsylvania to here. The house, I believe, was started in construction somewhere in around the 40s. You know, nothing original in the name, but it was like, okay, we, we call this, this building the Rock House from the time we bought the place in 06. I would recommend, of course, any of our beef. Our, our, our filet is amazing. We, everything's cut on premises. And the crab cakes, I'm a Maryland girl. I grew yeah. up in Baltimore. Yeah. Um, my crab cakes are actually gluten-free. There's not, no filler in them at all. We love it and, and our customers love it. So the surf and turf is a great balance of both. You yeah. can have the filet yeah. and you can have the crab cake, but our ribeye is also incredible. It's a destination restaurant. Like I just love sitting here and enjoying the views and they're always surprised. Coming up that road, they have no idea what to expect. 
they always end up enjoying themselves and loving it and telling us that they're going to end up coming back. Nobody's here by mistake. We're a mile off the road down a dirt road. Our customer base, they're just the sweetest people to wait on because they're not in a hurry and they're here to enjoy themselves. Sometimes they're celebrating birthdays or anniversaries or reunions. We get it all and we just enjoy it. On today's road trip, we experienced some of the fun and excitement that the Talahina area has to offer. First, we drove the beautiful Talamina National Scenic Byway. This 54-mile stretch of road takes travelers through beautiful mountains that line southeast Oklahoma. Visitors to the area can also enjoy a variety of outdoor activities like hiking, mountain biking, and horseback riding. Next, we spent some quality time at Brown Bear Cabin, the large luxury cabin nestled in scenic southeast Oklahoma. This 2,700-square-foot log cabin is perfect for hosting family getaways as well as a relaxing stay for couples looking to enjoy a quiet time in the mountains. Our final stop of the day was dinner at the Rock House, where owners Sam and Tammy gave us a tour in the history of the restaurant. Dinner at the Rock House is served Thursday through Sunday and reservations are required. We highly recommend the steaks and crab cakes. Join us next time on the Oklahoma Road Trip. We're heading south toward Broken Bow, where we'll take you to lunch at Grateful Head Pizza, explore Beaver's Bend Depot, and stay the night at the Charred Pine Luxury Cabin. We'll see you then.